She lied about the baby to save the senator's career. It didn't. Now, decades later, in the midst of a comeback, he's poised to be the next president of the United States. And she's lost everything. I asked her if she would tell her son. She just looked at me. Fifteen minutes I've been waiting. The place was a madhouse. It took longer than I thought. Well, then call or text. You just left me standing on the street like an idiot. Now we're gonna have to make this quick. We can't leave her any options. She does have a say in this, you know. No, she doesn't. She obviously can't care for herself anymore. Says who? Some stranger? Elliot. That's how it's done, okay? You can't just leave her alone out in the middle of bumfuck Egypt. Hello? Mom? doing here? Nice to see you too. 
that bad, huh? You, you lost a lot of weight. I know. It's my coffee and cancer diet. I'm going to write a book. I thought you were in remission. Well... Someone called and told me that you checked yourself out of the hospital last night. Yeah? What happened? Oh, Laura, give it a rest, will you? No, I'm not gonna give it a rest. What's going on? Okay, relax. Would one of you go make me a cup of tea? Sure. You want milk? Just honey, thanks. You know, she knows just how to piss me off. Hello. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. I'm Ted Kingsley. I called you last night. Laura. And you must be Elliot. It's nice to meet you. Your mom has told me a lot about you both. Who are you again? I'm the groundskeeper. What happened to Hector? He left. I think he and your mom had a disagreement. Okay, well, do you have a number we can reach you at? I'm sure we'll have some questions for you. I, um, I live here. You live here? I have a room down the hall. I've been here about six months. <laughs> six months? I was gonna cook dinner. What's going on here? What are you talking about? You were in a hospital, you look like shit, and you live with some strange guy. You met Ted. He's a dear. Why does he live here? Why not? Because he's probably trying to take advantage of you for starters. <gasps> Don't be ridiculous. Well, what happened to Hector? We had a parting of the ways. Why does the groundskeeper have to move in? Oh, Laura, I don't have it in me to fight with you. Not now. Okay? Ma, I just want to know what's going on here. That's all. What's going on here is that you and your brother haven't even seen me in a year and a half. So my life is a little different. That's my business. So are you sleeping with this Ted character? I wish. My brother was telling me that your father hated this place. I can't imagine that. Your father didn't hate this place. He hated my mother. Well, that must have made for some hilarious dinner conversation. <laughs>
great. Ted cooks all organic. Well, it's from your greenhouses. You cook every night? Not every night, but most. Why? Well, I cook for myself every night anyways. Plus, it's no fun cooking for just you, you know? So you're the groundskeeper and the cook? He's a better cook than groundskeeper. <laughs> Ted's also a very talented writer. Have you published anything? I had a novel out last year. I sent it to you for your birthday. The one about the woman who comes home from the war? Yeah. I read that. You're the one. No, I loved it. I thought she should have married the grandmother in the end. She did. In a previous draft. That book was kind of a big deal. I remember seeing it on some bestseller list. It did okay. So you're working on your next one? Yeah. I figured a change of scenery would give me a fresh perspective. Ted, do you administer meds to my mother? Excuse me? Laura. I'm not a home health attendant, if that's what you're asking. What is your role here, then? There is nothing inappropriate about Ted's presence here. Now that's enough. Ted, would you mind letting my family have a private discussion? I'll be in the kitchen. Why don't you just jump in his lap, for Christ's sake? I think that book was quite a big deal. Stop right? it! Now, what is it that you want? Everything is taken care of. The Home Health Agency comes on Monday, and they'll make sure I get everything I need. Ma, can you at least think about it? I'm sorry. I don't think any of us want to live together. You're not mixing your meds with alcohol, I hope. If you remember, I quit drinking two years ago. Well, sometimes that stuff is hard to kick. Not when you're dying. Look, I don't want to fight. I just want you to know that you're welcome to come live with me. Tempting. I do appreciate the offer, though. Thank you. <laughs> what is it? I'm fine. I'm just a little tired. I think I'll turn in. Do you need some help? I wouldn't mind. I'm still in college. Growing up doesn't agree with you? That's something we don't have a choice over. You have more choices than you think. Don't forget that. Elliot, she's playing you like a fiddle. I told you we can't give her any option. I don't think we can take her anywhere. I mean, look at her. She... So why did you call my kids? You don't want them here? No. I don't want them to see me like this. That's why I didn't call them. And what about all those talks about second chances? This is an opportunity. I will not be manipulated. Lily. You know I think the world of you. But I'm afraid to leave the house in case something happens to you. 
This is not my job. You need help here. So, you're leaving? I think it's best. I mean, now that your kids are... Don't just... leave me alone with them. Lily, they don't want me here. I want you here. Just until they leave. Can you promise me that? It's amazing. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. It's not that deep. No, of course not. Ted, could I have a word with my kids? No problem. This is crazy, you know that, right? You know what's crazy, Laura? What's that? That we don't have a relationship, you and I. Any of us. And that's my fault. And I apologize for that. I brought a lot of bullshit into this house. But the fact remains I'm lonely. So what if Ted lives here? He's a nice guy. And you should be happy someone's cooking your mother dinner every night. Then why don't you come home with me? With Jeff gone, there's more room. Oh, honey, you still don't get it. This is the end of the road. What does that mean? I'm gonna make some tea. Chamomile would be lovely. Sure. She's not doing well. So I'm gathering. I'm sorry. I just... How did it get to this? Are you scared? I was. Not anymore. I remember when you were a kid. We signed you up for swimming lessons. And when we got there, you saw that some of the other kids could swim better than you. That was it. You were done. If you couldn't win, you didn't want to play. Ever. Any other fun little childhood stories you want to share? That's my fear for you. That you never try anything out of your comfort zone. I do plenty outside my comfort zone. Good. But next time an opportunity comes up, throw yourself into it. See what happens. Okay? Sure. But can I tell you something? I remember you forcing me to take swimming lessons so I wouldn't be in your way. That's how I remember it. That's not true. No. Does this ring a bell? You're taking swimming lessons so I can get you out of my hair for an afternoon. That's what you said. That's pretty shitty. I'm sorry. You didn't give a shit about anything but your fucking flowers, and now you want to act like mother of the year? I don't buy it. Sometimes it takes something big to make you see how you screwed things up. I can't. 
can't change that. But I am sorry. Hello, Dr. Klein. This is Laura Garcia, Lily's daughter. I've been sort of broadsided by my mother's condition, and I was hoping to get a clearer picture on what's going on. I know it's not business hours, but if you get this message, I would greatly appreciate a call back. Is she asleep? Yeah. This is definitely in the running to be one of the longest days ever. Elliot, what are we gonna do? Let's go for a swim. Hello? Hey. Listen, um, I want to apologize to you for how I acted earlier. Thank you. I appreciate that. If this is weird, I can... No, no, no. I'm just... I'm really tired. I, I was going to go to sleep anyway. Good night, guys. Pretty sweet deal here. I do. It's been amazing living in this house. I have no doubt. What are you gonna do when. I'll figure something out. How are you doing with all this? Good as I can, I guess. Your mom is a good person. Yeah, well. She wasn't always a pot-smoking cancer victim. She told me she was a bad mother. How bad? Just stupid stuff, you know? I used to do this every night growing up. Thought you grew up in Manhattan. I moved to Manhattan when I was 17. My dad lived there. Mom always left it here. I can see why. Is there any booze in the house? Why did your dad hate your mother? Um. He wanted to bang every woman he could get his hands on. And when my mom did, she was a whore. She didn't get mad. She got even. Do you like what you do in New York? No. My sister and I run a chain of laundromats. It's a family business. I know. Lily told me. She did. She told me all about you guys. Oh yeah, like what? Like you have had a series of failed relationships. She said that? It isn't true. I think I've had great relationships. You're very handsome. Thanks. I mean it. What are you doing? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it's been a while. Um, no, it's cool. It's just I should probably get some sleep. Good night. Hey.
morning breaks You and I decide Oh, oh When I take our journey oh, oh, oh You and I, you and I Take the road we take Then we improvise When the road it breaks There will be surprises Live and grow with fame Wait to see your time Catch your heart with mine You and I decide Oh, better take our journey Oh, oh, oh how to fly Oh, oh, love to love our journey I think this might be a poor choice on my part. Wow. I can't believe you just said that out loud. No. I don't mean that. I just mean with my mom in the other room dying. It just seems like an iffy decision at best. Honestly. I think she wanted this to happen. Oh, man. You okay? Your mom told me about Senator Adams. I don't want to talk about that. Did you know him? I don't know anything about it. I didn't mean to cry. the guy in the photo. That's Eric. Okay. He's not here. But that leads me to that lovely pinecone art piece over there. Thoughts, excuses. <laughs> Your mom made that. You lie. <laughs> nope. Open it. She was pissed. <laughs> she loves her orchids. You travel with your own bow? No. I found it in your garage. I think it's your dad's. Three months ago, I couldn't even hit the target. Give it a try. Okay. Right there. Okay. 
This is an arrow. <laughs> okay. So you straighten your arm. Make sure you're apart. I'm gonna pull this back. Yeah. Really? Is this how they teach archery where you're from? Pay attention. <laughs> okay. Draw back. Yeah. No further. Okay. We'll focus on the bullseye. And let it go. <laughs> well, that was fun. Ma? Is something wrong? No, nothing's wrong. Are you hungry? What the fuck is wrong with you? <gasps> Morning. Hey. Morning. What are you doing? Making my famous cranberry pancakes. Sounds good. Can I help? Oh, sit back. Be prepared to get your mind blown. I can do that. Should we have eggs too? Yeah, I don't care. In that case, there's fresh parsley in the greenhouse. I'll be right back. You make sure it look like you're on vacation. What does that mean? You sleep with him? Why would you ask that? You did. That is so fucked up. I can't even look at you. Uh, at least you're not judging. Oh no, I am judging. Yeah, what to know? Nothing, apparently. No, what is this need for you to have a man at all times? It's sad. Elliot, I wish I knew you could cook. I, I would have put you to work a long time ago. I've cooked for you more than a few times. You yeah. have? Well, I'm sure it was amazing. I'll be happy to make dinner if you want. That would be lovely. I was thinking that maybe we could go on a little outing today. You think you should? Obviously. I'm the one suggesting it. What do you have in mind? I'll just sit on the grounds, get a little fresh air. Ted, I hope you can join us. Hold on, thank you. Terrific. That's it, honey. Hit every bump you can. I'm not doing it on purpose. I know, it just feels like it. Jesus Christ! There you go. Now that's more like the mother I grew up with. Ow! I never get sick of this. Ma! What? I'm already dying. Nice. Honestly, it helps with the pain. No, thank you. Have you ever smoked pot before? She was big for about seven years. <laughs> yeah, and then I grew up. Growing up ain't all it's cracked up to be. Apparently. Shit. I know, I'm ready to curl into a ball. Did you buy this house or build it? <laughs> what? We bought this property with another house on it. It was somewhat of a historical landmark in town. And we had it torn down 
it was before they had city ordinances protecting landmarks. Oh my God. I know. I was so pompous. I grew up with nothing and I valued nothing. And my husband, he just wanted to spend money to show what success he was. That's just one of those things that if I could just do over. Laura, do, do you still sing? No, no, not really. You sing? Used to. She was good. Mm. Remember that play in college? Oh, that was a highlight for me. Really? Of course. You never said anything. I didn't. I should have. Hey, could you two boys do me a favor? Sure. Could you go find me some rocks? Excuse me? I'm making something and I need some small rocks. Pretty ones. How big is small? No bigger than my nail. And I need three to nine. Three to nine? Why not just nine? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with them. I'm stoned. <laughs> Come up here. So what happened? Are you okay? What do you mean? Ever since breakfast, you've been on edge. My sister knows we slept together. So? So she thought it was in poor taste. Fuck her. Do you think it was in poor taste? Kind of. Really? Ted, you honestly don't think it was kind of low? No. I don't. And I wasn't joking last night. I think your mom would applaud this. There's not this. It was last night. And this morning. But we don't have to do it again. See? Problem solved. What are we looking for? Pine cones? You have no idea what happened. So how can you just assume I'm to blame? I never said that. Then what did you say? We all have a part in everything that happens to us. Own that. And then call Jeffrey up and apologize for what you brought to the table. That'd really freak him out. Yeah, I bet it would. There's no shame in saying that you were wrong. Why am I wrong? What about him? You're both wrong. Why, why are you so hung up on being right? Yeah, I just, I can't, I feel like I can't talk to you. Really? I feel like this is the first time we've ever spoken. But we're not talking. You're just spouting out all this new age mumbo jumbo. It's stupid. Well, I become a little clearer on a few things these days. No, you've replaced booze with pot. And now you think you're Harry Krishna. Laura, you have what I never had. Don't be too quick to let that go. If I had known it would all come down to this, I would have had the whole place paved. No, well, you wouldn't have. That's what you think.
What are these? Pine cones. I asked for rocks. <coughs> I thought you said pine cones. What am I supposed to do with these? <laughs> Make sure you handle the funeral arrangements. Stupid. So what do you want for the funeral? Nothing, really. I want to be cremated. And then maybe scatter my ashes in the back garden. I don't think a big service is necessary. I doubt anybody would come anyway. Don't say that. It's true. Ted's my only friend, and he doesn't even know it. No, he liked you. It doesn't matter. You can't sweat the small stuff. Words to live by. The good news is, you're not dead yet. I'm gonna get some produce from the greenhouse. Any requests? No, but could you do me a favor? Get me an orchid from the small greenhouse. I want to put it by my bed. Sure. Any color in particular? Something beautiful. Elliot, you're cooking. Why don't you go pick out what produce you want? Your brother seems a little lost. Yep. We're all a little lost. Well, that's your fault. This has been a crazy couple of days, you know? Yeah? And I don't think last night was a bad thing. Okay. For a long time, I believed I made things better, jumping loops and hoops for you and other people. But now I know it doesn't make a difference for anybody else but me. I just got a message from Ma's doctor. Yeah? It's really bad. I think that we need to get her back to New York and see if anything can be done. Where have you been the past two days? I can't make her do it. Can we at least agree to try? Sure. Good. Elliot, you've outdone yourself. Mm -hmm. For real? Your dad could cook, you know. He had all these recipes from Puerto Rico. It's a shame he stopped. Well, Elliot sure didn't get it from you. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> I want to get back this afternoon. I want to hear you sing. Uh, I don't think so. Honey, that would be wonderful. Mom, I don't want to. I may <laughs> never get the chance again. Oh, come on. Okay. Let me see. flower in the sun like a peaceful Saturday like a moon shining bright you can take my breath away 
Lost in your love, found within your arms, wanting so much to know who you are. So show me and tell me. Open up your soul, I'll make it easy to give. Your entire heart All I am Is all That you are <laughs> Mom? What's wrong? Mom? <laughs> Thank you. You should sing. That's all I'm going to say. I second that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll get cracking on that as soon as I get back to the city. <laughs> that is a very non-committal response. I think that's what they call a brush off. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> You'll take care of this place, won't you? What do you mean? This is yours. What about Laura? She'll get the beach house. She loves it there. This place was always more you. Do you play an instrument? Piano, some. I took piano lessons for three years. I sucked. I'm sure you weren't that bad. I'm not being self-deprecating. God never intended for me to be a pianist. Well, what did God intend for you then? I should have been a drummer. I, my mom wouldn't let me. You can still play drums. You're not even 30 years old. Just take lessons. You get back to singing, and I'll take drum lessons. How's that? Ted. Chances are you and I are never going to see each other again. So I wouldn't wait on me for anything. Okay. This is amazing. It is. So, Mom. Elliot and I were talking, and maybe... you can come home with me and see some specialist. One last ditch effort, you know? I thought we already talked about this. I just want to make sure we look into every possibility. And you think I haven't? I'm just what saying that... What do you know? You haven't been here. I've done chemo, yoga, tai chi, and every other useless thing that's out there. Don't you dare insinuate that I haven't looked into every way out of this. I'm just worried about being there for you. We have a business to run. We should be home. Then go. Elliot, do you want to help out here? Laura wants you to do what she wants, not what you want. So think about that. How's that?
What was that all about? Hey. I don't know why you would say something like that. Maybe the same reason you All I asked for was support. Is it that hard? She doesn't want to go. Do you want to drag her home? I mean, what is it that you want? Elliot, there comes a time when you have to do the responsible thing. Not what you feel like, but what makes most sense as an adult. This again. I'm not your little brother anymore. There's ten years between us. You'll always be my little brother. I'm not a child. Well, when you start making adult decisions, then you won't get treated like one. Well, how is this for an adult decision? I quit. Oh, it's that easy, is it? It is that easy. Dad never wanted me there to begin with. He wanted you to run it. Elliot, that's... You got what you want, Laura. You got the whole thing to yourself. I never wanted that. Well, you got it. I don't care if you run the whole fucking thing into the ground. And that's how easy this is. So what, you start fucking some stoner and all of a sudden you're this free spirit? What are you two arguing about? Elliot here just quit the business. Are you serious? Yeah. Good for you. What are you going to do? I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is. I hope it's something fun. Me too, Ma. Oh, Laura, you should be happy for him. He hated that job. But that was Daddy's dream. It wasn't Elliot's dream, or yours for that matter. So what, we just throw it all away? Yes. You know how much money you could get for it? Sell it. Go on an adventure. Don't waste another second of your life on someone else's dream. That's easy to say when you've never had one. I've got news for you, Laura. Laundry wasn't your father's dream. Money was. And look where it got him. A heart attack at 55. Oh, honey, you can't take any of it with you. It's all just things. And in the end, we all leave the same way we came in. Naked and alone. Who's feeding you all this bullshit? Honey. I lost the love of my life. You don't have to. You should have told Daddy that while he was alive. I didn't mean your father. Mom? Yeah, I, I, I think I'll just get back to bed. You mind giving me a push? Are you okay? Ted, would you mind taking her to our room? I'm gonna get her a pain pill. Sure. Thanks. Okay. Maybe you should think about going home with Laura. And maybe you should start figuring out what's next. <laughs> maybe I should. Did you get what you needed? Do you need anything? Thanks. Mom, why don't you call us? I thought.
thought it was too late. How are you doing? I'm good. What are you looking at? No one ever pays attention to the side of the house. It's a driveway. It's a garden. I guess it is. We're not done, you and me. Okay. Why would you pick this night of all nights to pull this shit? What shit? Elliot, you don't... You try and control everything. And when you can't, you freak out. Well, someone has to at least try and take control. Of a situation you can't possibly control. I have news for you. Ma is going to die any day. And there's nothing any of us can do about it. So what, in the meantime, you'll just fuck Ted and make pancakes? Fuck you, Laura. I know. I'm the asshole. But who do you think takes care of all the details around you? You, Laura. And a guilt. You don't give a shit about Ma. You just want to rush in and save the day so everyone will see what a good daughter you are. Oh, really? Really? And all this talk about responsibility? Where have you been the past year and a half? Same place as you, Elliot. Or am I at fault because I didn't pack your bags and drive you here? No, that's why you're a child, Elliot because you wait for everyone else to take care of you. Have you even thought about the fact that we have to plan a funeral? No, why would you, when you know someone else is gonna do it for you? And why can't you be alone? You're the neediest person I ever met. So don't tell me that you're not a child, Elliot. That's exactly what you are. You got all the answers, don't you? I got a few. Yeah? Your husband left you. Why is that? Think about it. Hey. Look, this is none of my business. But think about your mom. You're right, Ted. This is none of your business. Just, she can hear you guys. Why are you still here? Don't turn this on me. No. What normal person stays in a house while someone is dying? Out of respect for our family, you should have left the minute that we came here. Your mom asked me to stay so she wouldn't have to be alone with you two. And I completely get it. You both have made this whole thing about you every chance you've got. Now, I didn't know your mom back then, but right now, she is in there dying. And you, Laura, argue nonstop with everyone in this house. It's insane. And you got it all together. Is that it? Keeping a framed photo of your ex-boyfriend who fucked you over? Spare us a lecture. You don't know anything about that. I know. You're so complex. I could never figure you out. Your sister was right. You are a fucking child.
What do you want, Elliot? I'm sorry for what I said. It was stupid. It was. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. Hey, did I wake you? Sorry. Look, I just wanted to, um, to say to you that I've been thinking a lot about us. And, um, I won't apologize for all the stupid shit that I did. I just... I know I can be a bitch. And I never wanted to be that person. You deserve more than that. So I'm sorry. No, I'm not drunk. What are you doing? I was kind of hoping that maybe I could stay with you tonight. Are you serious? Yeah. Elliot, this is getting kind of weird. I think it was weird before we got here. We don't have to do anything. I just want to... Try and relax. I'm gonna call 911. No? I think that... Okay. Can I get you anything? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. When you sang tonight, with a dying woman who's twice your age. What is that about? And you don't have to talk about it. It isn't hard being around someone who's dying. That's nothing. I rented a room from a woman who had her legs blown off in a rack. She did a walk on her hand. Like the woman in your book? Is that what this is? Is it? I don't know. 
what to do with that. With what? Honesty? You're just using us. That is not how I look at it. How do you look at it? Elliot, your mom was so lonely when I met her. You just want to know how the great Ralph Adams lost his political career. At first. But I told her months ago. She's cool with it. So you're not a groundskeeper? I tried. Look, what is the difference between right now and half an hour ago? You lied your way into this house. And just because you think my mom is cool doesn't make it okay. It's a bit dramatic. Is it? Elliot, when I got here, your mom was desperate for attention. And she has so many great stories. And your whole family is so fucked up. I mean, the book wrote itself. Who's Eric? My boyfriend. Five years now. It's open. He knows everything. Am I in your book? Is that what I am to you? No. What am I then? I haven't figured that out yet. Honestly, huh? I can't find Ma. I know where she is.
long you been here? Are you okay? Elliot? My mother left this for you. Thank you. I know this hasn't been easy. She considered you a friend, so thank you for that. Well done, Grasshopper. Your sister just gave me this. What does it say? Break up with Eric. Did you? Cool. I haven't figured that out yet. Fair enough. We should get going. Let me get my bag. Jeff. came as soon as I heard. How did you know? 
Elliot called me this morning. What's up, Scrub? Not much. Let's get you home. Drive safe. I will. Is it weird for me to go to the funeral? I don't think anything's weird anymore. Hey, um... Do you want to ride with me? No. I'll drive. Okay. That last night, as Elliot sat at her bedside, Lily told him the truth, and he wasn't shocked. He'd always heard the rumors growing up. Fear kept her from telling him. Fear stopped him from asking. But it's in those moments when we push through the fear, we find new opportunities, even when we think it's too late.